In this morning's Business Insight, identifying and recognizing our area's future business leaders is important for a variety of reasons. The Business Courier recently named its latest 40 Under 40 class. The program recognizes Greater Cincinnati's next generation of young leaders and innovators, people who have already made a mark professionally and in the community, and are sure to go on to contribute more. On Tuesday, September 30th, the Courier will publicly recognize this year's class at a lunch. The event will be hosted by 2010 40 Under 40 honoree, Local 12's own Bob Herzog. And Bob is with Business Courier publisher Jamie Smith in the studio. Bob and Jamie. Thanks, Peg. Bob, thanks for making the trek into the newsroom. It was room. rough to get here, <laughs> but, I, you know, I cleared a path and we made it all right. I do want to thank you for being here. You've obviously become very uh, used to the 40 Under 40 program. You've been emceeing for a few years. Yeah. And a couple years ago, you were one of our 40 Under 40. I mean, it really was an honor, and it was just um, to, to be out there with all these different people who are having an impact, not on our community, but in a lot of different ways. Absolutely. You know, because you, you go out there and there, there's doctors and there's lawyers and architects and startup business types and all that kind of stuff. It's great. Yeah, it's a, it's a great diversity, diverse group, that's for sure. Yeah. Now, obviously being nominated, it's a big, big honor. We had 365 people Oof. nominated this year for the class of 40. Wow. So, you know, did it mean enough to you? What would you say to people that haven't been nominated before? Is it worth the worth the process? Oh, no, absolutely. And, and what I think about a lot of times when I've been out there is what the judges have to go through when they've got 360-some to sift through right. because there are so many people that are just very impressive in what they're doing in our community right. and, and sifting through and deciding what the 40 will be this year or that year has got to be a, a bit of a daunting task. Yeah. You, know? you know what we always like to say about it too is it's not only a diverse audience or not only a diverse group but it's not just one thing. They don't have to be just good business leaders. They have to right. be out there and you know, doing work with nonprofits. You know, they have to do, be, be doing things in their community. So it's not just they've chosen a great field. Right. They've just been well-rounded people. No doubt. And one of the things I love, too, is you maybe get to see a side of them <laughs> that you don't always get to see. You know, you know, say it's some guy and he's, you know, pretty, you know, straight-laced, buttoned-up kind of fella. And one of the things I love about the ceremony is everybody gets, like, their walk-up song. That's right. And you've got this guy who you think is going to, you know, be like that walking out, and all of a sudden he's he, he's breaking it down as he comes down the catwalk, exactly. and that's always a lot of fun. I think we had the there. splits last year. Yeah, uh, we had the worm. We had somebody try to steal your heart and do a little bit of everything people, on his way up. People people get very very creative, which is uh, which is kind of yeah. Fun. It's you know this is our 19th year of honoring 40 under 40, so next year will be our 20th anniversary. Wow. So we have I think if my math is right, 760 now alumni of the program after our sh after our program in September. A lot of really neat people. And I'm actually kind of surprised you guys invited me back this year <laughs> for lots of reasons one I'm not that good um, but but secondly I no longer fall within the range yeah, but see, you I'm, belong I'm an old man alumni now. club so okay yeah we just actually believe it or not just started an alumni club because what we okay. found is these young professionals even after they're 40 and beyond they still want to stay connected with each other yeah because they're all doing great things for the community they all want to work together they want to network together so we've recently started a club where they can stay together a couple times a year we'll have some events and keep That's them neat. connected yeah. So again, it's September 30th at Music Hall. Uh, last year we sold the place out. You know, it looks like we're going to do the same thing this year. Can't wait to see what you add to the program. And the, I, I like when they come up with their song, oh. kind of your your comments to each one. Well, I'd, I'd like to add my two cents, which is uh, rare for me because <laughs> I hardly ever go off script. Yeah, well, we're hoping you come up with a you know a unique dance for that day too. Well, I'm sure we'll come up with something. Do you want to you want to show anything for it now? They or? said if I danced, you had to dance oh, okay, too. Okay, then we. You're we'll good? just skip that. Are for you now. sure? I'm positively okay, good. Okay, Jamie. Well, listen, we do thank you for uh, continuing to come back and, and MC the program every year. It brings a uniqueness to it like nobody else could. And uh, again, just September 30th, Music Hall. We hope to honor a lot of great people. Looking forward to it. All right, thanks.